Okay, so this is a picture of how chemiosmosis couples the electron transport chain to ATP synthesis. And just a little bit, uh, just to kind of summarize the picture here first. Um, as you can see, this area right here is the intermembrane space. And this right here is the inner mitochondrial membrane. And then the area all down here is the mitochondrial matrix. Um, right here, um, from here to here, you see the electron transport chain taking place. And then this is obviously ATP synthase and oxidative phosphorylation. Um, just kind of a brief, I guess, synopsis of what happens during this phase is um, NADH shuttles high energy electrons extracted from food during glycolysis in the Krebs cycle to an electron transport chain built into the intermitochondrial membrane, just right here. And um, the gold arrows, which I don't know if you can see, the light's kind of bad, but they go, <clears throat> the gold arrows traces the transport of electrons which finally pass to oxygen at the downhill end of the chain to form water. So you can see how it flows across here and then down here and finally produces water. Um, and then most of the electron carriers of the chain are grouped into three complexes, or three protein complexes, which are these three. Um, and they're all three embedded in the membrane. Two mobile carriers, Q and cytochrome Z, C, which are here and here, here's Q and cytochrome C. Um, they move fast along the membrane and they carry electrons between the three large complexes. As you can see, they go along the gold arrow. Um, as each complex of the chain accepts and then donates electrons, it pumps hydrogen ions, protons, which are protons, from the mitochondrial matrix into the inner membrane space. So you can see here, um, they start down here in the mitochondrial matrix and are pumped up into the inner membrane space. Um, then what happens next? Let's see. Uh, so chemical energy originally harvested from food is transformed into a proton motive force, a gradient of H plus across the membrane, which you can see up here. Um, the hydrogen ions flow back down their gradient through a channel in ATP synthase, which you can see over here, another, which is another protein complex built into the membrane. <clears throat> the ATP synthase harnesses the proton motive force to phosphorylate ADP, which forms ATP. Um, and then the use of an H plus gradient, which is again the proton motive force, to transfer energy from redox reactions to cellular work which is ATV synthesis in this case is called chemiosmosis.